Hello, welcome. This is One India News, and I am Akash. Team India were taken apart by West Indies in the fourth ODI. The host played with some energy and came out to bowl with intent. They batted miserably, and so did India. However, it was their skipper Jason Holder's day. The tall fast bowler backed five wicket haul and beat India in what was a do or die game for the hosts. India, on the other hand, went down like nine pins. They were reduced to 47 for three in the 13th over, and Dhoni tried to steady the ship, but no one partnered with him. In spite of Ajinkya Rahane's 60 and MS Dhoni's 54, India lost the game with 11 runs while chasing a mere 190 runs. They eventually fell short of deliveries to get to the total as their innings concluded in just 178 runs. This was a major reality check for the Indian team as they could have sealed the series but now have to wait until the 5th ODI. Here is the predicted 11 for India in the 5th and the final ODI against West Indies. Openers: Ajinkya Rahane and Shikhar Dhawan. Ajinkya Rahane has been his own since the start of the series. He has played some beautiful knocks and has given India a good start in each game. He has already scored 297 runs in four games for India. Rahane will look to consolidate on his form further and claim a certain spot for himself in the ODI team. Meanwhile, Shikhar Dhawan has been in a phenomenal form. After a fantastic Champions Trophy, he started the series in Windies on a high as well. He managed to get two consecutive half centuries but has failed in couple of games. He needs to get his act back together for the fifth ODI as a good start is something that the Indian team always craves for. Middle order of Virat Kohli, Yuvraj Singh and Mahendra Singh Dhoni. Virat Kohli played a fantastic inning in the second ODI to get India to a great total. He scored 87 but has been tamed down by the short balls in the last two ODIs. He needs to get back to his best and pick this team up. Virat was challenged with a short ball in the 4th and the 5th ODIs by his West Indies counterparts and on the occasions it was Jason Holder who had the last laugh. Yuvraj Singh also has been struggling a bit in certain times. He missed the 4th ODI due to a sore hamstring and is expected to return to his place in the 5th. All Yuvraj needs to do is spend time in the middle and once he gets his eye in we all know the enormous potential that he possesses. Yuvraj has quite a few 30s but needs to carry those forward and convert them into big knocks. Mahendra Singh Dhoni plays when India needs him the most. He scored the slowest half century in the ODIs for India but the situation demanded him to stay. The man has the ability to take India home from any situation. and that match was just a blimp where he failed to do so however dhoni would want to make up for it this time when he walks out to bat the lower middle order of kedar jadhav and hardik pandya kedar jadhav had little to do in the champions trophy and even in the first two odis of the series he has hardly got a chance to come out and play however he showed his class in the third odi when he scored 40 of just 26 deliveries He partnered with Dhoni well to take India past the 250 run mark. In the fourth ODI, he had a chance to shine but blew it as India went on to lose the game. Hardik Pandya has done well with the ball in the series given the pitches have offered bounce and he just loves to bowl his bouncers. But the all-rounder to come true to that tag certainly needs to get his game up. with the bat as well and provide the team with some fireworks each time his duties are required bowlers ravichandran ashwin kuldeep yadav mohammad shami and umesh yadav ravi ashwin was kept out of the fourth game and his absence was dearly missed by the team he has bowled pretty well in the series thus far and his counterpart ravindra jadeja wasn't really his best in the previous outing and played an irresponsible shot late in the game kuldeep yadav has been busy foxing the windies batters he has picked up eight wickets in the tournament already and has been doing phenomenally well for the team The young Chinaman is showing his class and is doing pretty well for himself. 
No batter has been able to pick him up yet and looks like the lad is here to stay. Mohammad Shami ended up wicketless in the last match but he bowled extremely well. To start the innings, he bowled three back-to-back -back maidens and put Windy's batters under immense pressure. The team will want him back and Shami will certainly come good irrespective of the offer from the wicket. Omesh Yadav has been bowling with a lot of pace recently. He has been doing well up front, always ensuring the team gets early breakthroughs. He has picked up four wickets so far and might end up having more in the final game. Omesh also relishes the opportunity to bowl with both the new as well as the old ball. So this was the predicted 11 for India in the for the fifth and the final ODI against West Indies. Well, that's all for now. But for more news and updates, log on to oneindia.com and please don't forget to like and share this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to One India News YouTube channel.